take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. You can replace one cup of half and half with one tablespoon of melted butter plus enough milk to equal one cup. If you need more or less than a cup, just maintain the same ratio, one tablespoon of butter to almost a cup of milk. Let's help you make your mark. While most quiche recipes include milk, cream, cheese, and often butter, this recipe is dairy-free. You can use whatever dairy-free cheese is your favorite, or make your own, and choose a milk alternative, such as unsweetened soy milk or almond milk. Let's help you make your mark. The custard relies on the coagulation of the proteins in the eggs to set or firm the filling. If too much dairy is added to the eggs, there will not be enough proteins to set the mixture and the result will be a very soft, almost runny quiche. Secret number two, baking the quiche until it is just right. Take our lead. I'm personally not a fan of freezing quiche due to the dairy content and creamy consistency, but it can be done. This dish can be frozen both before or after being baked. If freezing before baking, carefully place prepared quiche in the freezer. Take our lead. Skim milk works fine. I do it all the time. Just make sure the veggies are well cooked so they don't give off a bunch of water to make the quiche not set up. You may not taste the quiche and go, wow, what a rich, creamy custard, but it will set up fine, not curdle, no ill effects. Let's help you make your mark. The custard. For your custard to set properly in the oven, use this easy ratio. One part dairy to two parts eggs. Classic custards use heavy cream, but 2% milk contains a fraction of the sat fat and is still plenty rich. Make your mark, take our lead. When you bake a custard, the proteins in the egg coagulate and cause the custard to set. But if you bake it for too long, or at too high a temperature, the proteins become overcoagulated and force out liquid, creating that curdled appearance. Another approach is to bake your quiche in a bain-marie, or hot water bath. Take our lead. 1. Whole milk and heavy cream substitute. If you happen to have some whole milk and heavy cream in the fridge, you can make your own half and half by mixing the two together in equal parts. So if you need one cup of half and half, you would combine one half cup of whole milk with one half cup of heavy cream. Take our lead. Add one and one half cups of whole milk. You can also use half and half or part heavy cream and part milk instead. The more cream you use, the richer the quiche will taste. You can use low fat or fat free milk but the quiche ends up slightly watery tasting and I don't recommend it. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.